Right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll be talking politics next. Uh, we'll be talking about the crack in the APC as uh, the the crisis gets messier as a faction nullifies and uh, you know committee. And we have a guest uh, joining us all the way from um, Abuja. We have a uh, Prince Mustafa, our factional chairman of that particular uh, committee. Good morning to you, uh, Prince Aldo. Thanks for joining us on the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Prince Aldo, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, yeah. good morning. Yeah, good morning to you too. Uh, we had you on the, on the show just um, last week and uh, you uh, talked about plans uh, to sack. That's how some uh, you know, papers have captioned what happened yesterday, uh, the Boone led um, committee. And um, uh, indeed, to your threat, um, it has actually been actualized. So tell us uh, really now, because a lot of people are saying that you know, the crisis in your uh, party has actually become messier. Now, you know, so what exactly is the situation as we speak? Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning, morning, Nigeria. Always a pleasure to be here. Um, I don't know if you can hear me clearly. Loud and clear. Perfect, perfect. So basically, um, with the use of the OPC, we've watched a lot of problems happening in our party, and we're not happy. We've not been happy over a long period of time. Nigerians came together to support President Muhammad Buhari and the APC into power. But the moment the APC came into power, certain forces decided to work against the president and work against the party. These things have led to a lot of hardship in Nigeria and a lot of hardship in our party. Now, a committee was set up by Mr. President in June 2020 and given a mandate of six months to deliver a convention. As we speak, it's 18 months and there has been no convention. And as young people, we are tired of seeing things happen the wrong way and not do anything about it. They keep telling us lead, we are the leaders of the future, leaders of tomorrow, but this tomorrow has never come. We have never seen that tomorrow. So as youth in the APC, we decided that this is our tomorrow. We are going to take leadership position now. In January, we wanted to air these issues and we went to Mr. President. And he asked us to go ahead and do things differently so that we can get different results. We went around the whole country, meeting different leaders, under the guise of or, or under propagating the APC. Everywhere we met, went and we met normal Nigerians, they were angry. But to us, this was encouraging because you are only angry at someone you love. If you don't love somebody, you don't even care about the person. Sorry? Yeah, we can hear you, go ahead. Okay, so this is why we as young people decided to make a difference. We decided that we should stand up and fight for what we believe in. Now, since we got up, we, we realized that after studying our constitution, there are a few things that we're doing that are against our constitution. The current CCPC that was set up, or the previous CCPC that was set up by Mr. President, had a governor leading it. And according to our constitution, you cannot be a governor and hold another executive position. This is the same in the Nigerian constitution. As the youth, we voiced this concern, but it fell on deaf ears. We met some ministers in the APC who said they are comfortable, they will never ever give up power, they enjoy the siren, they enjoy everything. So after analysis, as young people, we realized there's no room for us. And this is the part we feel. We are not going anywhere. So we decided to challenge them. Set up the date of our convention in February, last Saturday in Canada, we set the date of them as our convention. The governors quickly met in, Asok in Asokoro and went on Sunday, and the next the day after they went to Mr. President and said the party has picked February. We knew this was an attempt to silence us as young people because come 30th, 31st of January, there will be another postponement. So we don't believe. 
So we set up our own TCPC to begin reconciliation and to begin to plan for the. And we picked the date, February 26th. This is the last Saturday of February, meaning that we have given no wiggle room. And since we did this, the most unfortunate thing has happened. First of all, our current secretary, or now former, Senator Akpan Udo Dehen, who is a PDP man. He was a PDP uh, senator from 99 to 2003 and a PDP minister of FCT, minister of state for FCT, between 2007 and 2008. He came out officially under the APC platform and discredited us. He said, we are no, not APC members. We have never been APC members. We are not registered to the party. And he has asked the DSS to arrest us. As we are speaking, the DSS has been mobilized. And they said they would arrest us. Why? Because we simply want youth involvement in governance and in the APC. And Senator Akpan Udo Udehen and the rest of the PDP men that have infiltrated APC and brought hardship to Nigerians will not allow this to happen. So this is why we are doing this. We are doing this for you. We're doing this for all Nigerians. We're doing this for all young people. It is Mustafa, our time to be involved in leadership. That is all. What is Mustafa, the crime Mustafa in Mustafa that? Aldo, can you so please hear me? If that is the crime, please arrest us. Mustafa Audio, I'd like to come in at this point. Uh, you have mentioned, and this is not the very first time in different platforms, uh, the concern is that the young people in the party are not carried along. And Absolutely. we're definitely going to get to the point where uh, you know, the issue of being part of the party membership or whether you're part of, you know, the support group and what have you. But yeah. um, just as, you know, concerns have been raised as regards who empowers, because if we look at the country, the constitution governs the affairs of the country. And so forth Absolutely. at the party level, uh, you also have the party constitution that everyone should abide. So you rather Absolutely. say that's the, the, the Bible or the Quran, uh, you know, of the party. But the concerns are, you have this band, according to you, the some disbandment of the Ketika committee that was constituted by Mr. President himself, President Muhammad Buhari. Now, the question is, on whose authority are you uh, uh, deriving all of that powers? Are you working on? Uh, because from, we know from, that, we, we know that NEC, NEC has actually empowered, empowers... Uh, you know, NEC is a body that's empowered in a part of the organs of, you know, the party to uh, constitute committees and as well as uh, conduct conventions. So under whose authority are you thriving and working on? You know, you're, you're right. The constitution of the APC is what we should all abide by. It is what guides us. Without the constitution, it is more or less a jungle. So now, if you follow the Constitution, Article 17, Subsection 1 says the Nigerian Constitution is paramount, meaning that nothing in the APC Constitution is above the Nigerian Constitution. If you go further down, Subsection 4, you will see that it says that no executive governor of the party can hold another executive position concurrently. What are executive positions in a political party? Chairman, secretary, organizing secretary. These are the three executive positions in a political party. Then the Nigerian constitution, uh, I think 184 or 187, I, uh, I'm not quite sure, I forget now, says that no governor can hold another executive position in any capacity. No sitting governor can hold any other executive position in, in any capacity. Then number three, that term, the CECPC, it is foreign to the APC constitution. There is no page in the APC constitution or the Nigerian constitution that talks about the CECPC. It is an entity, a body that does not exist. It is foreign to both the Nigerian constitution and the APC constitution. Number four, you spoke about the NEC. The NEC is the constituted authority in the party to issue things like that, to create committees such as the CECPC. 
Now, the next start and created the CCPP led by Mr. President and gave them a six month mandate. Now, in order for there to be an extension, the entire neck must sit again and give them another mandate. But you see, the neck didn't sit. They went to Mr. President for an extension, a further six month extension. And because we love Mr. President as party men, we agreed. But now, this has been almost two years, no result, no attempt to do anything. So therefore, the APC constitution mandates us, the Nigerian constitution mandates us as citizens who see something wrong, you must stand up against it. It's equivalent to a citizen's arrest. If you see a criminal operating, it is your fiduciary duty to stop that criminal from operating. As according to the Nigerian Constitution. Therefore, according to our own APC Constitution and Nigerian Constitution, if you see something going wrong, it is your fiduciary duty to stand against it, it and make a change. Mustafa, I'm, I'm not asking. an advocate. And what is this change we are asking for? Youth inclusion in governance, in leadership. The APC has 27 uh, end of UC positions, which is National Working Committee. All we said is they buy the deputy, give it to us. We're not even asking for substantial, we didn't ask for chairman, secretary organizing, treasurer, we didn't ask for any of that. All we said is those deputy positions, because deputy zonal chairman, deputy auditor, deputy this, deputy that, to allow for young people to begin to understudy their leaders in real capacity. FA PA is glorified house boy and house girl. We don't want. Mustafa, oh, Mustafa, I'll you. do. This Mustafa, I'll do. So, so, so that we can actually, I mean, so we can, we're having a conversation, and of course, it has to be, you know, two way thing. Now, you, 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 you rightly mentioned that, you know, the, uh, the president, Mohammed Buhari, uh, constituted the Ketika Committee and gave them a mandate. And now you also mentioned that, you know, there's a NEC. So NEC is actually asking for an extension. And uh, don't you think that, you know, your actions and that of your group, uh, you know, is contrary to, uh, you know, the leaders of the party, the fact that you still have NEC, and it's not like NEC is not in existence, and all they're asking is an extension. I am not a spokesperson of the APC or NEC, but I'm just putting out some of these issues. And don't you think that uh, the actions by your group is further dividing the party, uh, you know, and causing more crisis? And maybe, you know, a disrespect, because you constantly mention the fact that Mr. President has given the mandate, gave you the mandate, and asked you. So would you, would you say that the president asked that you disband, uh, you know, the committee? There should be disbandment of the committee no, that he set up? Not. Did the president no, also ask that you I, should I, install yourself as a Ketika committee and go ahead with the convention? Uh, These are some no, of the things we'd like to get clarity on. Of course not. I have never made such a representation that Mr. President said we should disband the committee. No. What I've said and what I'll continuously say is that Mr. President asked us to do things differently. Now, whether we want to be honest with ourselves or not, what we have done has been like a joke to the APC. It is a complete wake-up call. Because we did what we did is why there is a February day. Because we've done what we've done, the APC has begun to move. In the last few days, there have been meetings between governors, ministers, quickly on how to stamp us out. As I speak to you, yesterday a force was mobilized, almost 40 from the DSS, which crossed everything to arrest us. But the fear was that if they do this, young people will see that this is what awaits them should they say they want to be involved in leadership. So that is why that wasn't done. Today, we are to be invited and arrested. Why? Why? Because we are speaking the truth. Because no one else wants to say there is a problem. There is a problem. Whether we want to be honest or not, Nigeria is not doing as good as it should. APC is not doing as good as it should. And the reason why are because of some bad elements. The good ones are not picking up. 
So where does that leave us as young people? This is all. So the next is the authority, but the next authority was for six months. Mr. President's authority he gave to them was for 12 months. So they have been acting illegally on behalf of our party all this while. But your and action, the person Mr. that uh, I know Prince is Aldo. the saboteur of our party is the PDP man, Senator Akpan Udo Dehe. He is a PDP man. All right, uh, Prince Aldo, if I have to just butt in here, that you said um, the, the CEPC actually has been acting illegally. But then again, you also said that uh, you know the, the neck or some uh, high-ranking um, party members have been looking at um, you know uh, getting you guys um, arrested. But what legal justification do they have, you know, to even um, make such arrest? And then again, from what, from all indications, now what we have or what we see from the side 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 sideways is that um, there are two leaders or two factions right now in the APC. Who should members hold allegiance to? Is it the Boney led um, in the committee or your committee? Because right now it is looking so messy. Uh, okay. To be honest, right, they have no authority, no legal authority to arrest us. We've not committed any crime. There is nothing in the constitution that exists such as CCCC, so we're not doing anything against it. We're honest and loyal party men. All we asked for was inclusion. The moment we asked for inclusion, Senator Akpan Udo there has said there will never be any room for us and that if we continue, we will be arrested. This is what the current Secretary of the APC has promised us, an arrest, and he's been acting on it. We have been contacted by the DSS yesterday that they were to raid us, but because the problem might be a bit too much if they raid us. Young people will now know that there is an issue. They, um, that's why they didn't raid us. So we expect to be arrested today. But there's nothing wrong with that. Please arrest us. We will continue. See, young people are watching all over the country. I'm not the type. We are not the type to give up. We are not the type to say bye-bye. Let us bring another party PDP. No. This is APC. These PDP guys must leave, and we must do the right thing. Mr. President wants the right thing. I think uh, we lost the Prince um, Aldo there because, uh, Mercy, this whole, you know, we had talked about this just last week when he said that they were going on ahead, you know, to constitute their own committee and insist on getting their own, you know, uh, you know the conference um, next year, February 26th. But all of this right now, in my opinion, is actually painting the wrong picture. I, I really do not see how, uh, you know, because the, the issue right now with Prince uh, Mustafa Aldo oh. and those in this particular group, uh, what they are doing as much as the concerns that they have raised might are be valid, valid mm -hmm. but you know the mode of operation modus operandi uh, seem the not approach. to be correct mm -hmm. and I do not see how you correct a wrong with a wrong so if you have a wrong situation you don't go by correcting a wrong situation with another wrong action two wrongs that say can don't never make, make a right, right. Mm -hmm. so uh, I, as much as young people would always say because you know the class again comes with the young people the young people I do believe in the young people and I You're know right. that the agenda of the young people is actually very strong but we're still very bent on you know the the pattern and the approach that you are uh, using and you and the group now uh, you, you have said that you have sacked the committee that was set up by mr president and of course the parallel leadership has been instituted uh, does the parallel leadership that has been instituted of course which you're part of have uh, do you have the right to conduct you know the convention you have stated that the convention will be conducted on the 26th of February, 2022. Uh, that's the first question to you. Uh, Mr. Mustafa, are you still on the line? I am, I am. I'm All right, sorry. so I'd like you to respond to that. And secondly, uh, maybe before you respond to that question, uh, it feels like, you know, the issue of no cohesion in the group. Uh, there's no unity and, you know, issue of communication. Uh, apart from this action that you have actually taken, have you made efforts, members of your group made any efforts, you know, to reach out to uh, those who are saddled with the authority, Mr. President himself, leaders of this party, and including the Ketika committee? 
Um, first, first of all, uh, thank you. These are two very pertinent questions. Number one, you, like you said, you cannot correct a wrong with a wrong. You know, sometimes when you see that you are heading for a crash, imagine, for example, you're sitting at the back of the car. You are a back seat, you are in the back seat, you're not supposed to drive. But if the driver falls asleep on the wheel, and the, the car is about to crash. If you don't put your hand on the wheel to try and save the vehicle, it will crash and all of you may be injured or may, you know, worst case scenario, die, whatever. You understand? So this is what is going on. We are not doing an illegality to correct an illegality. No. We are breaking some eggs to make a nice omelette. That's all. What we have done has given a real joke to our party leaders. Stop being selfish. Stop being uh, thinking about yourself alone. They are Nigerians. They are young Nigerians who love this party, who love this country, who have the capacity to make things different. Engage them. Involve them. Bring them into this process. Leadership is a collective process. Let us do the work. You, the older ones, take the credit for it. We don't care about the credit. We just want to work. But there is no room. There is no space. They tell you to waste your time. Generations before us have been wasting their time. We are still waiting. Our, our, our children are now waiting. The younger ones right behind us are now waiting. And guess what? Things are failing all around us. So how can you keep quiet and watch this happen? How? You, you can't do that. Do you understand? Then the second one in terms of consultation, prior to this, we started number one with the president in January. We've got, the, I, I believe the only uh, group that we, the only person we haven't met is maybe the vice president, but we've met many House of Reps members. We've met almost everybody in the party. Like I said, Senator Afan Udo, which is the who is the, the secretary of the CPCP? He is a PDP man. We met him at the, at the office of the secretary in March, April. And he told us that, listen, what we are doing is not new. Him and his, his other PDP colleagues, which are James Ibori, Donald Duke, Odius Okalu, uh, and, and other businessmen such as Dangote came together in 99 and said nobody over 50 will enter politics and gain power when the military were handing over. So he did this under PDP. So he told us what we are doing is not new. Go and fight for it, but nobody will give you. So what do we do? They are not going to give it to us. They keep telling us to wait for the future, a future that will never come. And everything is failing. And our children are looking up to us to deliver a better country for them. This is what has brought us to this point. Now, because we've done this, there have been meetings. There have been people, to his credit, Mala, His Excellency Maimala Buni reached out to us and said, let's have a meeting on Sunday evening. And we agreed to the meeting. But you know what the problem is? He's in Saudi Arabia. He's in Medina right now as we speak. Or now, now uh, Mecca. But when we spoke, it was in Medina. So how can you be fixing our problems from Medina? You need to be here. You need to face what is going on. You need to tackle the issues here. This is what was our problem. This is why we had no meeting with him. Other leaders have said to reach out that we should have meetings. But Senator Akpan Udo Odehe has mobilized the DSS and they are intent, him and a few others are intent on arresting us. The deputy governor of Kogi State organized pressmen yesterday in Kogi State at the APC Secretariat to discredit me and say I'm not an APC man. I don't have a membership card. I'm not part of it. I'm not part of it. But when they were collecting 22.5 million from me for form, for a piece of paper, so that I could run for governor, under Mr. President, not too wrong, young to run bill. What did they do? They disenfranchised me, deleted my signature, hid my birth certificate, and removed me from the race. Oh, so, so that Aldo. I don't add value to the APC, to Nigeria. 
All right, Prince Awadeh, from all that you've said, from all the foregoing, it is really clear there is a no love lost um, relationship um, amongst um, most members of the APC. But with your approach, with all that you have done and said over time, you know, and with threats of, um, you know, arresting you and some of your other colleagues, uh, how do you see all of this ending? Do you see um, a favorable, you know, disposition of um, other the neck, you know, towards some um, of the young people in the APC? And do we see all of these issues, uh, you know, being resolved in no time? I, I, I honestly believe there is a simple solution to this. The NEC should meet and ratify our CETC state. That's all. Because we don't violate the Constitution. Anything we do, all the NEC has to do is sit down and say, okay. And that's all. If the NEC sits down and acts on what uh, His Excellency Mimala Buni is doing or has done, the danger is that the PDP, once the election is done, will take us to court to try and take the mandate from the court. Just like happened in Ondo State. Today, Governor Akere Dolu is the governor simply because Neymar Buni was not joined as a party to the case. And by law, you cannot pass judgment behind somebody's back. The person has to be present and has to be party to that case because he must be given right of free trial. This is why we didn't lose on those states. So there is a risk. You see, I, I've worked so much for this party. I've done so much. My dad, late Prince Abakaraudu, died for APC, died to bring APC to Kogi State and remove the PDP. I don't have a choice but to give everything I have to the APC. This okay, so, 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 so let's, fi let's also find out. You, you've there mentioned that... Everything. You've mentioned that, uh, you know, as a way of resolving all of this issue that NEC would need to sit. And why is NEC not sitting at this point in time? Is NEC not aware? Is Mr. President and leaders of your party not aware of the situation that's ongoing? Mustafa Audu, Prince Mustafa yes, Audu, can I, I you hear me? Okay, what so my, my, my concern is you it? mentioned in the course of our conversation that NEC as a way of resolving the issue, NEC will need to meet. And my question is, why has NEC not met? Is, is NEC not in the know of what's going on right now uh, with all of this parallel factions and creation and all that's going on? Like you, just like you mentioned, right, that there is an array in the party. There are many factions, there are issues. So because of these issues, the NEC have been unable to put our house in order and sit down for a meeting. And we are all watching and watching and watching. Opposition is laughing and laughing and laughing. They know there are agents that they put in the APC. They are working, they are working, they are working. And all the young stakeholders who don't have anywhere to turn to, where am I going to begin? My whole life is APC. Where am I going to go? I believe in the APC. Where should I go? It's like building a house and some squatters come to take over your house. Should you walk outside and say, well, let's do the right thing? Or should you push them out? Mm. This is the issue. They are squatters in our party. And the one that we have identified, and we know he's a CDP man true and true, an agent of the opposition, Senator Akpa Udo Udehe, here to destroy the APC here to destroy the work of Mr. President, and some of us will not go quietly. So, Senator Akpan Udo Dehe, please send the DFS to arrest us. We are waiting well, for well, that well, arrest. Right. As uh, young people, we are tired. Prince Mustafa Audu, Prince Mustafa Audu, we, we would have to let you go at this point in time, and Plus TV Africa would also make her effort to reach out to Senator Akpan Udo Dege. Uh, to also get his side of the story. Please stick around. When we return, we'll definitely head straight to the second conversation. Uh, we'll be right back.